Hi, welcome back to my channel, Ren Country Sticks. <clears throat> Been quite a while since I made a video. Um, we're just slowly starting to get back into uh, the sticks. I'm not doing an awful lot at the moment. This is going to be a short video, <clears throat> but uh, something a wee bit different for you. So we're going to start simple. Antler. And if you can find a piece of antler that's shaped so you can grip, you grip it nicely, they make nice sticks. Now, it's no good just having a plain piece of antler. You know, you could cap it, that's a bit boring. So, what I used to do was put uh, a carved dog on. And we've started carving a dog for this one. And uh, this has come out of a piece of uh, buffalo horn. Have uh, we got it to hand one minute? Right, sorry about that. Now, you can buy off cuts of buffalo horn like this. And I'll tell you where I get them from. I'm not being paid to do this. Um, I get them from uh, Highland Horn. Just put that in Google and you get all your stick making stuff from Highland Horn. So, you can get a box full of these. I can't remember how much they cost, but uh, it's basically scrap. So, it's great for uh, cutting up into a block so that you can carve yourself a dog. Now this dog's obviously not finished, I'm just in the process. And it started off as a square. Somewhere in the videos you've seen how I carve a dog, so we're not going to go through that. But basically, what we're going to do with this, um, we're going to remove some of this material here to make, um, let's call it a plug. We're going to recess this here, and we're going to drop that in there and glue it up. Uh, so it's quite a lot of material to come off. So, um, It'll look something like like that, but obviously there's there's a lot of material to come off. Um, you could put a collar on here. Uh, I think I'm going to try a collar. Um, I'm going to find myself um, a piece of hazel, which uh, is passable, but uh, sort of uh, not the best because this is just a little hiking pole. They're going to be cheaper sticks. So, um, as I say, you don't want to use your best hazel, but you're also substantial. So we may put a collar on there, we may not. We may just put a spacer in, which we'll see when the time comes. So, again, your antler. Uh, you can get uh, a bag full of these from Highland Horn. You tell him what you want, and uh, he'll do his best to pick them out. So, quite long pieces. These can be cut down. As long as you've got something which has got a bit of a curve on it, and, you know, which is going to make it um, uh, nice to hold in the hand. Some lightweight ones, some thicker ones. So there you go. So that's all I'm going to show you for the time being. I'm going to work on this, um, this carving, remove uh, some of this material at the bottom to make, uh, as I say, a plug to drop into, um, into this. We're going to carve that, uh, carve that out. That can drop in there. Um, I am going to keep these videos a lot shorter than they were in the past. They became very, very long. I know some people want to see everything that goes on, but uh, basically it's not very practical. So we're going to try and sort of keep them short, uh, keep you informed of what we're doing. Um, if you're good with your hands, and you've got a bit of experience, then um, you should be able to, to manage with what I'm showing you. Uh, if not, it's a learning curve and we've all gone through it. Um, You've got to struggle to start with, try things, and then, uh, as you say, the more you do, the better you get. So, say, don't be discouraged. Right, there we go. So, you've seen how I've done that in the past. I've got a little template, a very simple thing, and then we've just started whittling to, to get the shape we want. So, that's it for now. Just to say, yeah, welcome back, and thanks for all the subscribers. We've got tons of subscribers. Um, I think we've got probably close to 180, if not more now, which is pretty good. So, thanks for that. And uh, keep watching and we'll come back as we progress with this. See you again. Bye bye. Right, okay. So, we've cut the plug, the notch, whatever you want to call it. We've only used a hacksaw and then just clean it up a little bit with a file. So, that's uh, another stage on. So, we're going to dig the, uh, the core out of the top of the antler now and match these two up. And then we need to take all this waste off. Down there. So that's the next part. Right, okay, here we go. So, 
there's a slot we've carved out very very uh, soft material the core so it's easy to do uh, use whatever you've got um, how to use like a dremel and what have you um, but you could use a, just a drill basically drill it out uh, take the corners off that and then that'll drop in there so what we're going to do now is uh, take our waste off, clean it up <clears throat> and uh, get a decent fit. Then we can uh, epoxy that in and that's it. Um, I need to finish the, doing the dog first before I do anything else because this square plinth now will give me a good anchor in the vise to continue um, uh, doing a bit of carving. So uh, there we go. That's what uh, it's almost going to look like obviously as I say. This waste is going to come off and the thing's going to be painted and varnished and uh, it'll look very nice. So that's it for now. Okay we've moved on a little bit. So we've got the peg, we've got the socket. Uh, that's going to go in there. You can see that we've taken off a little bit of waste at the back. I think I'm going to glue this in so it's solid and I can uh, take that uh, buffalo horn off right up to uh, the antler. So uh, that one's painted. I say, I think that'll make a, a nice hiking pole for somebody, uh, maybe even somebody who's interested in sheep dogs because it's a, it's a board, it'll be painted as a border collie. So there we go folks, um, if you've got questions you can always message me, um, but you've seen how the dog's been carved as I say uh, in other videos uh, or oh, probably the last year now, so you should be able to handle that. Um, you know where to get the buffalo home from, you know where to get the, the antler from, uh, that's going to be heraldited in there and I'm sure that you all know how to fix a, a shank onto that and there you, you have it. You'll have a probably quite a nice stick. So thanks for watching and um, we'll come back when we've finished it, get it all painted up and uh, we've got a, a stick fitted to it. So um, thanks again and we'll see you. Bye bye.